Life is lived moment to moment. In this moment I am living, in this moment I am living, in this moment I am living. Or very often, unfortunately, I'm not because my mind has chosen to take me down an alley with some useless thought and beat the living daylights out of me. But our ideal, our objective is to live our lives moment to moment because it is within the fabric of the moments of our lives that we actually create the reality that we have at this moment in time. And therefore what I want to talk about for just a couple of minutes this morning is the need to compartmentalize our lives. I know our lives are one flowing whole as you will appreciate if somebody is having difficulties in a relationship or difficulties with children at home or difficulties paying the mortgage. Those difficulties are carried to work with them during the course of the day. Life is not uh, in silos, life is seamless. In the same way as if I'm being abused or bullied at work or having a difficult time at work, I will carry that baggage home with me in the evening. Now the problem with that is that I'm never where I actually am. Because if I walk in the door in the evening with a sack load of troubles on my back from the day that has just ended at work, and then I replay those troubles for my nearest and dearest, making sure that he or she is as distressed as I was when I walked in the door. Ooh, wonderful evening ahead. Um, then I am not actually at home. My body made it in the door, but my mind didn't. In the same way as if I'm sitting in a meeting at work, trying to achieve some important goal or objective, and my mind is whirring around by the fa with the fact that I have to go and meet my children's teachers later on to sort out some problem at work, then I'm not at the meeting. And indeed, when I get to the meeting with the parents, I won't be at that meeting either, because I'll probably be thinking to myself, what am I going to do to this child afterwards? Our minds tend to follow what is preoccupying them. And this disables us from living moment to moment. So as I said, what I want to talk about for just a moment is compartmentalization. And I want to talk about it in the particular context that it was raised with me by a client just a couple of days ago. This girl comes in the door on a Friday evening and spends most of Friday evening and most of Saturday morning, quality time, spends most of that time replaying the things that she had done during the course of the week to evaluate whether or not she had done them as she thought she should have done them. Now the point is, on a Saturday morning, the things that you did on a Thursday are done. They cannot be undone. You may learn from your mistakes, but replaying what was done is not learning from your mistakes. It's wallowing in the possibility that you made one. If you're having a stressful time at work, and bear in mind that stress is only in the mind of the beholder, but if you are having a stressful time at work, what you need to do when you walk in your front door in the evening is switch your mind on to the reality of the moment. Find some trigger, whether it is slotting the key in the front door, whether it is putting the handbrake on in the car, whether it is turning on the lights or running up the hall to be greeted by a couple of children hanging out of your knees. You need to have some trigger that actually says, what is past is past. Yeah, I'll revisit it. I'll learn from it. I will analyse it. Uh, not overanalyse it, by the way. I will analyse it at the appropriate time, but now is not the appropriate time. Because now, when I walk in the house in the evening or at a weekend, now is the time to be truly present for those whom I claim to love. So there you are. A little perspective on trying to shut out the bits that overflow and cause trouble in our lives, to compartmentalise, to ensure that in our striving to live life properly, or adequately even, that we do strive to live moment to moment to moment.